Hello fourth grade. Today we're going to be working on prepositions and prepositional phrases. We worked on prepositions last week. You know those are words like to, with, in, against, across, about. Well a preposition is the first word in a group of words called a prepositional phrase. A prepositional phrase starts the preposition and ends with a noun like to the forest, in the store, by her mother, against the wall, to the football game. Okay, so the preposition is the first word in the, the phrase, and the noun is the last word in the prepositional phrase. And that noun is called the object of the preposition. Okay, and the preposition shows how the object of the preposition is related to the other words in the sentence. Okay, a prepositional phrase can be used to tell where, when, how, or which one. I'm in your workbook on page 97. So here's a sentence. We took a rocket into outer space. The preposition is into. The entire phrase is into outer space. And the object of the preposition is space. It's the noun, the last word in the prepositional phrase. Okay, so sometimes you can combine two sentences with prepositional phrases. Here we have the astronauts studied the moon. They saw craters there. The astronauts studied craters on the moon. So it's a better sentence when we join them and use a prepositional phrase. And here's a whole list of common prepositions. About, above, across, after, along, around, at, behind, below, beneath, between, by, for, from, in, into, of, on, over, through, to, under, upon, with, and without. This is not the entire list of prepositions, but it is some very common ones. I've written two sentences here. We rode our bikes to the store. To the store is the prepositional phrase. The preposition is to, and store is the object of the preposition. The prepositional phrase always ends with a noun. Here's another sentence. The flower was growing near the house. Near the house is the prepositional phrase. The preposition is near. The object of the preposition is house. The object of the preposition is always the last word in the prepositional phrase, and it will be a noun or a pronoun. Let me give you an example of one where it's a pronoun. Let's see. Um, give your test to me. Okay. To me is your prepositional phrase. To is your preposition. Me is the object of the preposition. Okay, and it's a pronoun. So on page 97, it says write the prepositional phrase in each sentence, underline the preposition, circle the object of the preposition. So number one says, can you jump across that gully? All right, the prepositional phrase will be across that gully. That's what you will write on the line on page 97. Across that gully. Okay, and then it says to Underline the preposition, that's across, and circle the object of the preposition, that's the noun, that's the last word, gully. Okay, and then the bottom part says, each sentence below contains two prepositional phrases. Underline the prepositional phrases. So there will be two in each sentence. So number five says, the race to the moon ended in triumph. Well, your first one is to the moon. So we're going to the moon. And the second prepositional phrase is in triumph. Okay, ended is the verb. It is not part of the prepositional, either prepositional phrase. To the moon, in triumph. All you have to do is page 97. 